Curses and Sea of Thieves can be obtained in a range of different ways. In this video, we're gonna go from worst to best, and I'm gonna be telling you how to unlock all of them for yourself. And you guys are not gonna believe how many hours it takes to unlock the final curse in this video, so stick around for that. Curses and Sea of Thieves can be used to show off to other players that you know what you're doing, or just something to add to your character's look. Either way, there's something that every player wants to obtain. Before this video starts, I just wanna say thank you to everyone who's been subscribing recently. We most recently hit 600 subscribers, which is just crazy, and we're somehow already on the road to 1,000 subscribers. I'm gonna have videos coming out over the next month as we're entering the rollout for Sea of Thieves Season 10. So subscribe to stay up to date with all the latest news. So hit that subscribe button and help your boy hit a thousand. Back to the video. So to begin, we're starting at the bottom with whatever this is. Yeah, this curse is not really much to talk about. It's obtained by completing the second tall tale, the Curse Rogue, five times and finding all five journals within it. This is easily the worst curse in the game. Just, I mean, look at it. Not only is it very easy to get, but it also just doesn't look very good. So yeah, definitely at the bottom. Moving on to a fan favorite curse, we have the Ashen Curse. This is most players first curse in the game because of it being not too difficult to obtain and just generally being a cool looking curse. This curse is obtained by completing the Heart of Fire tool tale five times and find all the hidden journals within the tool tale. This tool tale is a lot of fun with lots of parkour and lava, so definitely check it out if you're new. It's a great first adventure. I'll put a link in the description of a guide that can help you complete this tool tale and find all five journals with ease. Next, we have a slightly harder curse to get, the Coral Curse. This curse is normally used by the average to good player because it isn't too easy to get, so they obviously dedicate to the game. To get it, you must first find all 30 journals that are located at the shrine spread around the Sea of Thieves. Once all journals are found, you can then purchase a quest from Lorena outside of every tavern. Once you complete the quest, you automatically receive the Coral Curse free of charge. Up next, we have one of the hardest curses in the game to get, the Gold Curse. This curse is used by players that are very committed to the game because if you want to get it, you have to complete all the main nine tool tales five times and find all journals within them. This takes minimum 35 hours and that's on a perfect run. So you best believe if you want this curse, you're in for a grind. This makes it one of the rarest cosmetics in the game. So look out for it. And finally, we have the two PVP curses, the skeleton and the ghost curse. These curses are for the best of the best because in order to get them, you must reach level 100 in the PVP hourglass mode. Depending on which faction you decide to fight for determines what curse you'll get. If you choose to fight for reapers, you earn the Skelly Curse. If you choose to fight for Athena's Fortune, you'll get the Ghost Curse. If you're really sweaty and have way too much free time, you can even unlock the gold version of both curses by reaching level 1000. This takes probably the average player over a thousand hours of game time, so this curse is extremely rare and very few players have it. So if you see this, you're probably not going to win the fight. Also, as part of the PvP mode, you can also now unlock the legendary Athena curse. This curse was originally an exclusive item to the Season 1 Battle Pass in which you had to get level 100 to unlock, and they then brought it back in the PvP mode at level 105. This annoyed a lot of players because it was originally a rare item and now anyone can get it. That's all for this video. If you want to get easy XP in the hourglass mode and unlock the ghost and the skeleton curse for yourself, then check out this video on screen which will help you level up in that hourglass mode.